Dear Dr. Shashang, I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute on behalf of all the faculty members to you for scoring rank number 21 in uh, DM Pulmonology Group. And NEET SS 2022 session, congratulations to you. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Can we know a brief background of yours from where you started till date? Uh, yeah. So, first of all, before beginning, I would like to say that it's a very big um, honor to talk to you on this stage. I have been, I have been a big fan of yours. Okay. I haven't been, uh, I belong to a non-surgical uh, group, so I haven't been listening to your, uh, I haven't listened to your lectures, but I've listened to your motivational talks and you, sir, you're like brilliant and especially your smile. Your smile is a big <laughs> stress buster. It's a big stress buster for us students. So, uh, so a big, very big thank you for that, sir. Now, coming to my sir, background, I am one of those few students who have the privilege of doing the UG and PG from the same college. I'm from Kolkata. Uh, I did my UG from Arjikar Medical College, Kolkata, uh, and uh, from 2011 to 2017. And then I did my MD in Pangan Medicine from 2019 to 2022. I just appeared for my final MD exam a few months back. Very nice. Thanks for your great compliment. Yeah, and you. I think you made my day. And uh, <laughs> so very nice to listen to you. And uh, and can you share something on your preparation strategy? What you do for uh, that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I basically sir, started my preparation from second year. Uh, what I believe is first year is something uh, where you need to cultivate your knowledge, you know, to know about your clinical skills and develop your clinical skills. So I knew I, I wanted to do TM in pulmonary medicine. So I started from second year, I joined uh, Speed Institute. Initially, when they had only lectures of Dr. Sabrinath, when initially Dr. Sabrinath was there. So I listened to his lectures. I, I am also one of those old school guys who believe in making their own notes. I don't like to study anybody else's notes. So I made my own handwritten notes. Any cases which I used to see in my in my wards, I used to come back, I used to open the standard textbook, which is the Freshman's Permanent Medicine book. I used to go and read from there, get touch up with the uh, latest guidelines, and then I used to jot them down in my uh, notes. Then then uh, subsequently came Doctor. I still remember Doctor Kutti Sharda Ma'am's lectures were very good. She uh, she had contents from up to date and from all the latest guidelines. And then come uh, came the two very one of my Two favorite doctors, Dr. Hariharan sir and Dr. Saurabh sir, their notes were simply outstanding, out of the world. All updated guidelines, everything from the textbook and was so concise key. it was really helpful for me in the past uh, one or uh, two months for my revision. So it was very helpful. So you have narrated the entire uh, history of speed and pulmonology in the platform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, but it is migrating actually. It is day by day. It is not the same. I mean, yes, I mean, yes, it, it is. It will get upgraded. It will get up, updated, and uh, it doesn't. It is not static. We don't believe in a, a static uh, way of learning things. Also, sir, I would like to highlight one point. Like uh, pulmonology is one of those few streams in medicine where we don't have any proper MCQ books. That is a very biggest drawback in our pulmonary medicine group. So while doing speed, there were a lot of MCQs. Quite of them were very difficult and quite opened my eyes uh, quite a lot. So I solved those MCQs and those were really, really, very helpful. I, would, taken, I can say, sir, yeah, speed is the only source where I found pulmonary medicine MCQs. And they are That's taken from, you fresh MCQs taken from the book of Fishman. Yes, sir. Every time uh, the faculty prepares and we load it. So I, I personally think that the speed should release an MCQ book for pulmonary medicine. It's very required. It's highly, highly required. Currently in the market, there is no book, sir. And now the entire so content has become digitalized now, doctor. So it has become, yes, now the content is talking now. Previously, it was a print. It is migrated. The content can yes, talk. Sir. The content can put PPTs. The content can put test. So, I mean, it has become like that migrated to a different... Yeah, but, still, but, still, but still, I think there are some old school people like me who likes, you know, hard, yeah, yeah. hard copies. So yeah, yeah. They, know, they like hard copies. copies. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, understand, yeah. I understand. Because what we are doing is, we are, uh, I mean, putting the content on, say... Uh, daily basis we want we are doing it on daily basis. so we always we found this technology interface now become very convenient for yes, us to communicate to the students see, if you put here tomorrow it reaches you so we are I mean anyway but there are as you said it might be required i'll put across the faculty let them let us see what can be done so i wish you all the best and all the success uh for being a Thank great so pulmonologist in years to come and your feedback and your appreciation uh, will be uh, taken by our faculties, they'll feel very happy and motivated. Wish you all the best, Doctor. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you.